I said Jesus was trans because he didn't have a father. And the comments are always like, God can do anything. And you raise a great point. If God can heal the sick and blind and paraplegics, why couldn't he make Jesus a man? I would like an answer. Can you name the last time somebody was paraplegic or even more impressive, born quadriplegic and then was healed? by God. Maybe it happened a lot in the Bible, but I haven't seen a lot of it in the past 2,000 years. Which begs the question, if God can, why is he not? I've said it before, my problems with evangelical Christianity is seeing God as an all-powerful, all-good being, and turning around and saying, well, sometimes kids get cancer and die, not because he can't fix it, just because he won't. If your personal worldview is that an all-powerful, all-loving God loves you so much that he's gonna torture you forever, ignore kids with cancer, send gay people to hell because they are in love with other people, they can end every disease, but also say trans people are a disease and then say it's their fault for God not curing said disease, trans isn't a disease by the way i'm using your evangelical logic here if he is able to and not willing i would say you need to find another religion the fun part about that is it doesn't even have to be a different god no it doesn't even have to be a different religion you can choose a different denomination that teaches you how god was loving and how men kind of got in the way of that it teaches you how to be a radical defender of said love and be an example on earth where you defend everyone who's discriminated against bullied harassed, instead of being the harasser yourself. Believe in a God that loves redemption and forgiveness, and there is no hell because that would be against the point. You can make these kind of decisions. Just like how God can make the decision to heal cancer, but you don't. He doesn't. <laughs>